Greetings fellow descendants, my name is Lars, and today we're going to be talking about the records in the game The First Descendant, or TFD. I will reference it uh, probably that way, just to make it shorter. So, in the game, uh, we have this journal section, and one of the two options is the records. These records are documentation of lore for either characters, colossi, missions, story, or just locations. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the locations for all of the interactable um, records that you can get in the game. There are some that you can only gain via story completion. They'll just be uh, unlocked as you complete story missions. And then there are some that are unlocked via a descendant character quest, for, specifically for the character Bunny. Uh, we'll talk about those later, but there are some that I will show you that are related to the bunny quest as we go through. So we're going to go zone by zone, starting with Albion, and I'm going to show you the locations for all of them in each zone, as well as tell you which ones they are for each of these in each of these subcategories, so you can compare which ones you do or do not have and find out which ones you're missing. Uh, they're not going to be in direct order of like one, like descendant one, two, three, four, five, six because of the fact that they're all jumbled and all over the place anyway. If I just tried to do them in order, we will just be constantly jumping from zone to zone, from beginning of the game to the end of the game. My goal here is to present you with all of them in the order that you're going to be playing the game in each zone that you're going to be unlocking. So that way, any new players who are looking for this information can get them as they play the game. And any players who have already completed the story can reference this and go looking for them any of the ones they missed along their way. So, let's go ahead and get into the records. Starting with Albion. When we first get to Albion here, we're going to go ahead and walk out and head on down here. And this journal here is one. In this same room, we come over here. Here's another. And then we'll head on down here. Here's a third one. And the last two, there's one right over here on the left. And another one over here on the right. Do keep in mind that these may not all appear uh, from the beginning. You will have to progress your story to get some of these now beyond, but this is all the ones here. Here's 
here in destruction. We're going to go ahead and go out. And right up in this building here. On the map right above the ION in the destruction, you will find this node. Immediately right away, you're going to hop up on this car, jump up here, and here is your first echo for Fallen Theater. Right back here behind the teleporter. Then, we're going to go over this way. Just run towards the gate over here. And use this uh, to help get ourselves up. And you're going to walk right over here. And here's another journal. Right here along the top of the gate here. So first things first, first things first with the grand square. Just gonna come up right here to this building right in front, hop up the brick building here, around the corner, and here you go. Just above the teleporter, just to the left of the Volga's data transmitter mission, is your first one. And then we're going to go ahead and head on over this way. And here is your other journal. Uh, it took me a second to get up there, but uh, essentially all you got to do is get up on this platform here. Your, uh, the teleporter's right over there, so you just got to get up on this platform here and run on over. And here is your journal. Just to the left of the teleporter, to the right of the Kingston Surveillance Radar Mission, up on this scaffolding here. And that's it for Kingston. So coming from this teleporter here, we're going to have to make a little jog. gonna get up on this bridge here come up over to these rocks and you're gonna jump across and grab them. and here you are your arc echoes so it's just to the right and north of the rock ball words here on the map so you're gonna exit the base here you're going to go up and over the bridge here. Avoid fighting these enemies if someone's doing this mission. Or do it if you need to do the mission. And you're going to jump down. And here is a journal right here. This is for the this this journal is for the bunny quest 
though, so if you do have not progressed the bunny quest, this one will not be available to you. Um, just uh, start the bunny quest line, and eventually it will lead you to this one. It'll even give you notifications on where it is. So it's quite helpful. So next up, we're going to go ahead and run from here. And right up on top of this cliff, we have another Arc Echoes. So it's just below the Defense Garrison Rally Point mission in the Restricted Zone. Moving on, we're going to go down here, make this sweet jump, and grapple. And right here on the floor is another journal. Underneath, just down into the left of the restricted zone, if you jumped, if you followed from that previous one, all we did is run and jump off the cliff, down here, and land in this little space, and it's right here dead center on the floor. And you can get out using this pad. Or grappling, or however, however you feel like uh, getting out. Alright, so this one's going to be a little bit of a run as well. Unless you have the secondary teleporter unlocked, in which case you can go ahead and get uh, head there first. But I will take you there and show you how to unlock that. And then we'll go for it. So here's the secondary teleporter. Once you get this unlocked, you can just go up here. And right up on this little cliff is the Arc Echoes. Right here on the map where my green arrow is, just above the additional teleporter in the repository. Okay, let's move on to the ironworks. Okay, so right from the right from the spawn point, as you teleport in, you're just gonna go out, make a right, Walk straight. You're going to make a left here around these boxes into this room. Once you see this big circular thing, you're in the right direction. And here it is, right on the floor. Alright. Alright, first things first, as you come out of the base, you're going to go ahead and grapple onto here. You're going to go ahead and jump and grapple up there. And jump onto this spot here, and here is a journal. We are located just to the right of the teleporter in the ruins, so go ahead and grab that, and you're good to go. Next up... We're going to go ahead and go this way. A little bit of a run, but uh, not too bad. And we're going to aim to get on top of those arches up there. So we're going to go to the right here a little bit, get on this little cliff. And jump up and grapple. And here you go, another Arc Echoes. It's right over here, on top of the big arch, on the right side as you're running to it. Alright, moving on. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a bunny quest one, so you will not be able to see this unless you have the bunny quest progressed, so... Uh, it's... Right here. So, bunny quest progression has to be to a certain point, and then this will be here. You will uh, be directed to this via the quest, so when you are on the quest line, uh, just follow the instructions, it'll lead you to this place. But, yeah, this is another one of them. Okay. So, first things first. Come out, come right up here, and here you go. Journal right here, right in front of the te right in front of the the teleporter in front of the uh, safe zone. Just bam, right there. And then another one, very close by. We're gonna go ahead and run up this hill. Also, right near the teleporter. As soon as you spawn, turn right, come up this hill, and you're gonna run all the way to the back here, all the way back. And behind this bush, here you go, another Arc Echoes. It's uh, back here in this corner on the map. So you had one right here, and one back here. So once you spawn in, let me make sure of something here. Yeah, once you spawn in, you're going to just go ahead and go... Oopsie. You're going to go just across here. And it's right here, in the water. This one's a little hard to see, but thankfully, whenever you're looking for these, they will have the word journal popped up over. Um, and these will be lit up. I've already collected them, so they sh don't showcase. But here it is on the map. You're just to the left and south of the floodplain mission in the water. So just look for this water pathway here. And then just look for this little blockade here. And bam, it's right here in the water. Look for the journal. Okay. Okay. So, we're immediately going to turn left and leave the camp. And see that big tree trunk over there that fell down? That's where we're going. Go ahead and grapple up there. And then right on top of the tree here. Here it is. It is just uh, to the left and south of the Timberfall outpost. And it's just south of the Timberfall. Look for the giant tree. And here it is just sitting right on top of it. Ready for you to go. And that is all for the Vespers. Okay. So, for this one, we're going to go ahead and go straight out. Get underneath the big structure here. We're going to go ahead straight in here to this... A uh, little cave. Just a straight shot from where we were. Hop on up here. And you might encounter one of these code analyzers, but what we're looking for is right here on the ground in front of it, the journal. So, it's right here on the map. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to leave this room. And 
we're going to make a right and exit this area and just walk straight up this hill. Make another right and straight ahead. Get rid of those guys. Is another one of our echoes right here. Just south of this secondary teleporter. Right on top of this hill. If these things will leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure there's no others in the muskeg swamp from my notes. And right up here is this journal. Let me just double check. I think this might actually be a bunny quest one. So this is a bunny quest one. You will not see this unless you've progressed your bunny quest. Um, but once you do, you can get it. It is right here on the map to the left of the ghost marsh up on top of this tree. It is the highest treetop uh, tree fort that I can see. And it's just right up here. All right. Next, we're going to go over to the chapel. That one, again, will be directed to if you did the bunny quest. So, if you did not start your bunny quest yet, um, you can go ahead and skip over that one for now and return to it once you do your bunny quest. But now we're going to run over to where the chapel um, mission is. You're looking for this large structure here. Big old gateway. And you see all these wooden planks and stuff, all these wooden structures. We're going to go ahead and climb on them. All these bridges. And right in the back here is another Arc Echoes. It is right above the chapel um, duty. We just got to get up here. And there it is. Okay. Abandoned zone. Let me double check. We're just going to go ahead and run right around the corner here. Just take a left. Right past this mission. And right down here. The Arc Echoes. It'll be right over here on the map. Just, just past that mission there. You just run right from the uh, teleporter and you'll be fine. Just right here. These will be glowing on yours if you haven't gotten them yet. So they'll be easier for you to spot from a distance. Um, I've already collected all mine, so they do not glow. But next we're going to go ahead and just run through this battlefield here. Past this mission and any of these enemies that these people are fighting. This is a little bit of a long walk, but this will be the last one for the zone. So you just go ahead and come all the way back here. And it's right here in this dark corner. It'll be marked by the journal, and you'll be able to see it because it's a glowing pad. I just can't see it because it's both in the grass and it's... Oh, there it is. Right there. 
And that's it for the Echo Swamp. Okay, so first we're going to just take a long run all the way across the desert here. As you're going through this area, you can just do the missions and then grab these afterwards. Uh, if you've already completed the story and you're looking to pick these up afterwards, then you're going to just be in for a little bit of a walk. But that's not that bad. If you have Bunny, you can make these uh, trips a lot faster. But I'm going to be doing this on Blair, just so that I can showcase um, just the trip for just anybody in general. So, right up here on this cliff is a journal. All the way at the bottom here, south in the south uh, corner here. And next we're going to make another long trip all the way up to the top here. <clears throat> if you have a mobile character with mobile abilities like Bunny, this will be faster. Otherwise, just enjoy the scenic view. And you're just going to come right up on here on this little ledge. It's right next to the Rock Cave Base Battlefield mission, just above it, and on this little rock, is your Arc Echoes. Okay, so you're going to go from the base here, you're going to walk out, and you're going to go ahead and grapple up here. And the second you pass this mission, you will see right in front of you an Arc Echoes, just right here for the take. So, just right here, right next to where it says the storage on the map. Perfect. Alright, from this point, we're going to go ahead and go this way. To the right, you're going to hop up here, and you're going to get right up next to this spot here. Hop on up, and right down in here is the journal. So just below the previous Construct Team Quarters mission, and above the Void Fusion Reactor mission. Okay, so in the mining site, we're just going to go over here. There's only one. We're going to exit this base. We're going to have to cross this area. And we're going to have to do some grappling. So let's go ahead and get up top here. Hop on up on this platform, and we're going to get right up top here. Then, one more. And here we are, the Arc Echoes. Just right here on the map, above the sword site in Mining Sight, on top of this here thing. Okay, so Mirage Stone has one. It is over by the secondary teleporter, but not everybody's going to start with that, so we're going to walk from this spot here, over to it. You're just going to come out of these of the starter uh, starting zone. You're going to walk straight and then take a left. We're going to hop on down. To your left, you will see a big red orb in the sky. That is a big, scary no-no. But if it's on your left side like that, then you know you're going in the right direction. So, the uh, extra teleporter is right over here. So, you're going to get this, and then right in front of it, right here, is your Arc Echoes. Perfect. And it's right here on the map, right next to the normal mission, Red Sphere. There is only one here, and it is by the secondary teleporter. So we're going to exit out from the outpost, and we're going to make a left. 
gonna hop over these little cliffs here. And just keep on moving. So if you haven't already gotten the teleporter, it is down here. It's right here. Just unlock it and then you can walk right out here. Grapple up the top. And just walk along this path, and you'll see at the end there is our Arc Echoes. You'll be able to see it better if you haven't gotten it yet, because it will be light lit up blue, but it is right here. Just on the left side here of this uh, opening that looks kind of like a rock hammer. Right here on the map. So this one, there's only one here. We're just going to walk straight out from the outpost. And we're just going to go just straight. Avoid any enemies unless you want to be doing these missions. And right here... On the edge is the Arc Echo. Just directly south of the word Basin in Moongrave Basin, on this little cliff overseeing this big area, you will find your Echo. And we're going to go out and to the left. Okay, we're going to go out, hop across this, cut across there, and now we're going to go left. This direction should take us to the gate. I forgot about that gap there. <laughs> and we go into the observatory. Alternatively, if you're already in um, the observatory, you can just make it to the end here, where the near where the gate is. And it'll be right here, sitting on the floor. Just right here, right next to the gate from shipment base. We're going to exit the outpost and make ourselves go right. Once we've entered the hatchery, all right, you've entered the hatchery. You're going to go ahead and come around the corner here, turn to your right, and you'll see it right there. You just got to jump and grapple, and there's another arc echo for you right there. Just right as you enter into the, the hatchery from the mountaintops area. It's right here. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna exit the outpost. We're gonna hang left. And just 
down here. It was right down here somewhere. So I just have this. It's right here. Sorry, this one, uh, it's been a minute. Oh, it's been a minute since I got this one, so. Forgot exactly where it was, but. Yep, it's right here, just to the left of the outpost, hanging off the side of the cliff. So we're gonna exit the outpost. We're gonna grapple our way up from here. Right on top of this building is an Arc Echo. So we're right here, just above the, the outpost we came from, and to the left. Um, this will be an Arc Echo, and we have another one right nearby. So let's go ahead and jump down. And this little shack here, right in front of me, we're going to make a right into it. And boom, there's a journal right here. Go ahead and pick that up. Once you entered into Starfall Road, you're going to go ahead and just run out here to the right. And right on straight ahead is your Arc Echo. So just here to the right and north of the Outpost, you're gonna find it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head straight on up this hill from the outpost. And just straight ahead. This one is pretty straightforward. You just got to get across this uh, map a little bit, and we're going to be able to get it pretty quickly. Just keep on going straight. No need to make any turns. We're just straight, straight, straight. And once you reach this little overhang, your journal is right here. So it's right here on the map, just to the right of the munitions loading dock. So it's going to be a long run here, but here we go. Aurora Forest. We're just going to turn around once we enter the outpost. We're going to go straight down. Just come on up here to this tower and hop right on over here. Oh, and here is the Arc Echo right here on the map, just next to the Snowy Heights Battlefield mission. You will be able to get this Arc Echo. So, once you load into the outpost, you're going to go ahead and look to the right and up, and you're going to want to just go ahead and Grapple on up here. And 
around here is an arc echo right there waiting for you. It's right off of the teleporter at the fallen arc. It's great. And then we're going to begin our trek across this zone because the other one is on the other side of this area. It's off of a cliff somewhere over here. Oh, it's right here. These are a little bit harder to see once you've already collected them, so... I forgot slightly where it was, but it is right here on the map to the right and below the Frozen Shipyard mission a little bit, directly beneath the word Ark in Fallen Ark near the cliffside edge. Go ahead and pick this one up, and we will move on to so we're gonna go ahead and exit the outpost and go to the right. This one is a little bit of a run, but it's not too bad. This zone is big, but this section is not super large. I'm just going to hug the right wall here. It makes it easier to get to. And you see the big marking over here against the wall where it's been busted open by something. We're going to enter into one of these. I think it's going to be... Oh, wait, no. Sorry, it's that wall. It's that marking. I passed right by it. <laughs> I forgot which one of them is the entrance. But, you're gonna go ahead and enter here, and right on top of this box is the journal. And with that, we have all the ones you can find out in the open world. I just want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you found any of the information in this video helpful, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more First Descendant uh, videos coming up, uh, please go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel. And I will be producing, I'll be making more videos um, every week, I will be trying to get a Blair build guide out once I finish farming up all of his stuff. And there will be more informational videos and uh, whatnot coming in the future for First Ascendant. Uh, let me know how, in the comments, how you have been enjoying, if you've been enjoying this game, what your experience has been, and all that. Be on the lookout for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.